2020 John Deere 3 Series tractor. It's the 3033R with the factory cab. So we'll just do a quick walk around, go over some of the features, and jump in the cab. So we ended up getting the industrial tires with this package. It's a good all around tire for just about everything. Got the factory cab, got the 320, 320R loader with, I believe it's right around a 70 inch bucket. Got the work lights front and rear. We're going to add LED light bulbs. You can get them off Amazon for like $35 for a pack of two Canadian. So we'll add them. It's pretty cheap. Got your fuel fill here, which is nice. Got your windshield wash fill over there. I like that how a lot of tractors you see the windshield wash tank here sloshing around and John Deere tucks it away nice under the fender right there. So rear windshield wash and wiper, front windshield wash and wiper. Uh, nice plastic hood. Got your exhaust port here if you want to take it out the top. I have no reason to. Uh, exhaust right there at the side is fine for me. Got the block heater. Like I said, we got the 320R loader. Very, it looks like a very stout, very good, solid, rugged loader. I like how John Deere tucks all their grease fittings away so you know branches can hit them, clip them off. It's nice that they do that with every one. Got the John Deere quick connect for the bucket. You just pull that pin out on each side. Just lower your arms here in this notch back away from your bucket. Pretty slick. Come around to the front. Did you notice we got some extra brackets there on the front of the tractor? That's where our front mount snowblower. We uh, we got a front mount snowblower with this package. There's the PTO shaft down there. As you can see, 2000 RPM. That comes off the mid PTO. And uh, should be good for blowing snow. A lot beats, you know, twisting your neck around looking behind you. Uh, we never got the third function yet for a grapple or anything. That's something we're going to get later on. And uh, like I say, we're going to add the LED lights to the front. Same on this side. There's your other quick connect. John Deere does a nice job tucking their lines away. They put this protective shroud around the lines from wearing. You got all your couplers there. All the caps are all color coded. Even in here, you know, like you can see there's about an inch clearance from this, these set of lines to your plastic cab so it's not rubbing on your paint. There's stereo aerial. This door opens as well, but this side does not have a step. It's kind of more of emergency access or exit. That's fine. I'll never be able to fit between the loader lever and the dash anyway. Uh, so down at the bottom here you can see we got the fuel water separator. You got your oil fill in there. That little yellow circle is your oil tip stick. Everything's real easy to access and get at. It's got good clearance this tractor. Your steering rod and everything's protected kind of behind your front axle which is nice. It's not in the front exposed to stumps or rocks. Well, we'll come around to the towards the back of the tractor. We got our three-point hitch, category one. 5400 PTO. Got our drawbar. Uh, we'll ended up with this ballast box. Figured I'd get that, throw some weight in it, just for the snow blower for a little extra traction. And I may end up going back up to the dealer when I get the third function put on, and I'll get them to load the tires as well for a little extra weight. So yeah, like I say, category one uh, three-point hitch. And see these? I like these here. You just pull that pin out and you can angle your three-point hitch. There's none of that cranking on a rod like this with threads. That's a really nice system right there. It makes it a lot faster. And I'll probably be getting the quick hitch. I'm sure a lot, a lot of you guys interested in tractors have already seen that on YouTube. Just makes it a lot easier with that quick hitch to back in and pick up all your different implements. So yeah, we'll open the hood here and have a quick look at uh, the engine. This tractor comes with a 33 horsepower Yanmar. Yanmar makes a really good engine. They've been around a very long time. 
So all you basically do there, that little hole, you just shove your key in as a little push button, and that pops the hood. As soon as you hear it click, it locks. You got your battery in there, easy to get at. If you got a boost, your rad, you know, you can get your air chuck in there, your long cop copper tube, if you got to blow everything out. You got your coolant, your oil cooler, all that, your air filter. This is a tier four final engine, 33 horsepower. It's below that 75 horsepower range, so it does not need DEF. It does have a diesel particulate filter, but we do not need the DEF fluid. Like I say, Yanmar 33 horsepower. These side panels, they're just, see this, it just flips out. You turn it, there's one on the cor each corner. You turn that, side panel comes off, piece of cake. Gives you all the access to get at your filters do your maintenance, make it real easy. All right, let's hop up in the cab and we'll go over the accessories inside the cab. I like this door, it's a really nice big wide opening to get in the cab. You got a nice grab handle here. And you also got a nice grab handle right here makes it nice to hop in so you got your heat and AC your heats on a separate dial is your AC which is nice you can adjust the cool temperature look at all the air vents they have in the cab of this deer so plenty of airflow you got your sun visor up top it comes down keep the sun out of your eyes get your rear view mirror there I'll just show you a few things where we can see them with the camera before I hop in the seat. You got your dial here to adjust the seat for, I'm about uh, 230, 235 pounds. So I can just adjust that and that seat, I'm telling you, it's very comfy. Like you can get the air seat if you want, but I don't really know why you'd, you'd need it. Cause this seat is very comfy from the factory. Park brake, you got your <clears throat> low, neutral, medium high mode that that shifter shifts real easy no clutch because this is a hydrostat transmission so all I do is just push on the brake and shift and like I said it shifts really smooth really easy you got your split brake you know they a lot of you guys with tractors already understand the system but for those of you who don't if you're you know I find if you're in the woods around a lot of trees towing out some logs or whatever you can flip this lever up and say if you got to make a really hard sharp right turn to get around a stump or a tree you can hold down on that right rear brake and that will make your left rear tire spin and that will swing your front end right around pretty much on a dime so it's nice and it, you know it has its place for sure uh, this is for your diff lock so if you're in a area where you're stuck in some snow or some mud you step on that with your heel and that will engage all four tires here you have your three-point hitch lower so you can adjust that for how fast you want to lower your three-point hitch you know you can adjust that so it'll just slam right to the ground or it'll have a nice slow steady flow from the hydraulics to the ground usually I think they usually like to keep it like two or three second count it's kind of the happy medium spot got your seat belt uh, this seat you know retracts forward back got your armrest nice cloth nice cloth seat you got lots of storage here with a 12 volt outlet charging your phone drink holders all right let's hop in on the front we got tilt steering just that little switch right there nice actually comes down pretty low nice and comfy uh, we got our throttle like I say instrument cluster get the key here for you now this key switch for your glow plugs cold days it's your first click and you'll see your glow plug light up on the front 
doesn't show it now where it's already been warmed up but it's your first click forward for your glow plugs you wait until that light goes out for the glow plug light and you can start your tractor so you got your uh, coolant temp your tack your fuel your engine hours and on this switch here this button will allow you to go through your screen ground speed vehicle hours PTO Soot level, 33%. Exhaust filter, 82. And then your engine. Uh, what else do we got? We have our... So this, like I said, this will automatically go in regen. That's the way I leave it. So if I'm working, I'll see the light come on that it's going in regen. I can keep working. It, it does its own thing by itself. Uh, if for some reason you want to do a park regen, say you got a phone call and you've got to go somewhere right away, you know your soot level's getting high, so you can hit that, you can put your tractor in park, hit the park regen, it'll rev up to the specific RPMs and it'll do your soot burn off. Uh, if you're in an area, you notice your regen comes on, you're working in an area, say you're working on your property, it's really dry, you're, the exhaust temp <clears throat> gets really hot when these tractors go into regen so if you're working around a lot of hay or or a real dry grassy area you're scared of a fire then you just cancel your regen uh they say uh not to do that too many times or eventually it'll plug the whole system and you'll need a john deere service tech to come out and it's going to cost you so like i said i just leave mine in auto and let it do its thing uh third function if you want that there's a button that goes right here and it controls your grapple or whatever third function you want on the front loader which is very nice I like the ergonomics of this loader lever fits your hand you know really nice comfortable so you're not reaching way up here or reaching way out here this allows you to have you know it's nice allows you to have that extra finesse on your loader to do fine grade uh, over here for this lever this is our runs our snow blower so that runs your all the way forward will run your mid PTO in the middle will run your mid PTO and your rear PTO at the same time all the way to the back will run your just your rear PTO and it tells you the RPMs so 2000 on your front 540 on your rear kind of explains it out this is our three point hitch raise and lower and we can set this lever here we can lock it so if we want to raise our three point inch to a specific height we just lock that and that lever will only go to that height or that lower setting uh, as you turn on your PTO switch right here you know the older models had the pull out knob so this one's just an on off switch uh, you got your work lights all kinds of switch extra switches here for whatever need be for accessories you want to add to the tractor you got your rear wiper wash which is nice as we have a look at this motion match system this is very nice here up top we have a cruise control this is you would run this the exact same as your vehicle your pickup or your car so that's pretty straightforward nice feature cruise control uh, this dial here is motion match so when you go clockwise the further you go clockwise when I step on the fuel pedal forward the faster it takes off. As I go counterclockwise, step on the fuel pedal, the slower the tractor will take off. Main purpose of that is, if you want to go all the way counterclockwise, step on your forward pedal. If you're on somebody's lawn, a fresh lawn, a new lawn, you don't want to tear up the sod, works really well. It will also, if you have it all the way clockwise, so it'll accelerate as soon as you hit the pedal like really fast you let off on the fuel pedal it'll come to an abrupt stop as you go counterclockwise different settings let off you know you can be going in high gear let off on that pedal nice gradual stop so I kind of leave it in the center it's kind of a happy happy medium for me works well in the center there uh, here we have uh, speed match so speed match and I find speed match and load match kind of work together for me. So how it works is when I have my front snowblower on, I'll have load match on. 
and I'll have speed match on. So how that works is when I'm into some real heavy, wet snow, you know, a big snowstorm, as long as my load matches on, when my PTO undergoes a lot of uh, a he real heavy load, you know, if this you don't have this option, your tractor will stall out. If you have this option here, your tractor will not stall. It'll actually stop your tractor from moving forward into that wet snow until your RPMs catch back up. So it works really well. And your, your uh, speed max, so your cruise control is like your vehicle. It'll only work at a certain speed, so kind of a more of a higher speed luxury. Uh, for uh, speed match, if I'm snow blowing, say I'm snow blowing this driveway, and like I said, real heavy, real wet, I just want to go down to a crawl, you know, because it's really putting a lot of load on the, on the PTO. So I'll set this tractor with the pedal to the speed that I want, hit the load max button with, or sorry, hit the speed max button with the load match button on it'll set the speed for me so no matter how far I push down on that pedal it'll only go to that speed that I set that tractor at so I can hold that pedal right to the floor and it will still go with that constant one speed and the load match on it'll keep the tractor from stalling out so it's a very very good feature for that and like I said I could see that uh, you know the load match being a very good feature for box blade you get into some heavy digging it puts a lot of you know a lot of stress on your uh, on your engine sometimes it'll want to die your tractor out stall your tractor same as working your front end loader you get into some heavy digging really sucks that rpms down once to saw your engine out this will save your tractor from stalling uh, over here this auto switch here use this all the time love this switch you hit that when you push on your throttle and your pedal to go forward, the higher your RPMs will go up. So instead, and I'll show you when we get out on the road here, without this switch on, if I step on the pedal, it will only go as fast as I set it here on my RPM. But when I switch it into auto, the further I push down, this can be right down in turtle, the further I push down, the RPMs will raise up automatically, just like a front end loader. So if you've ever driven a front end loader, that's how, how it works. It's a very nice feature. So yeah, that's pretty much everything guys with uh, the 3033R. Very nice size tractor. Like I said, very comfy. So let's take it out on the road and try some of these features. use my hand throttle to throttle up. As you can see it's really nice and quiet in the cab too. Not a lot of noise. The cab really, you know, it's well insulated with the carpet. Silences everything down really nice. So we'll just use my hand throttle just till we get out on the road here and then I'll show you the other features. Okay, so as you can see here, I'll hit auto. For, you know I like that for doing loader work now I can idle my throttle all the way back down to the lowest setting I got my auto on so as I depress on the forward pedal my rpms will rev up just like a front-end loader very nice feature that's I like keeping it in auto all the time so just like you know it runs just like your vehicle Very nice feature for that. As you see at the first of the video, this is just a small driveway. This tractor will spin right on a dime. Very nice tight turn radius. And it'll also do the same in reverse. Okay, so let's check this motion match. So you see, so this is how fast it accelerates in motion match with my setting on the 
bigger circle kind of the middle setting. So that's how it takes off on that setting. We'll see how it stops. Let off the pedal. Comes to a nice, you know, fairly nice slow stop, safe stop. So let's let's just do all the way to the clockwise setting. Step on the pedal. Really takes off quick <clears throat> and it really comes to a slow or a fast jerking stop. Let off the pedal, bang, pretty near throws me out of the seat. So let's go all the way counterclockwise. Nice slow takeoff, let off the pedal, nice slow stop. Like I said, let's try the middle again. Nice slow stop. So I find that middle switch works best for me. Now as far as these uh, load match and speed match, you pretty much got to have something hooked up to your PTO or uh, a box blade or something like that where it's putting some, you know, some heavy load on your engine, your RPM for me to show you that. But I think I kind of explained that pretty good how that works. So let's just go out and try the cruise control for the fun of it. So I've got it in uh, medium gear selection. We've got it up full speed in medium right here, uh, 8.6 miles per hour. Let's hit our cruise control, so we'll hit cruise control on, we'll hit set. There we go. Foot off the pedal, got my cruise control, it's nice. And that's with this auto switch on too, so my RPM lever is all the way to the lowest setting. So, to shut cruise control off, I either tap my reverse or tap the brake. Tap the brake, shuts cruise control off. Paper towel flying here. Okay. So I really like that. Cruise control works nice. So, 8.6 speed miles per hour in the medium gear. Let's try all the way in high. So we'll turn around here at the end of the road. More of a straight stretch. Again, it's still in auto, so my RPMs are going to go full max as I go all the way with the pedal to the floor. So this is in high. Sixteen miles per hour. Sixteen, seventeen miles per hour and high. So plenty fast enough. And you can set your cruise on that if you want, if the road's nice and smooth. I pretty much like running in uh, in the medium gear when I'm not working. Of course I put it in low when I'm working, but medium seems to work best for me. That's pretty much all the functions inside the cab of the 3033R, folks. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. And we're going to be buying some uh, some implements for this tractor, box blade, land plane. Might even get a backhoe for it. So we're going to be posting. You know, we're going to be posting a lot more videos on the tractor uh, with the new implements. So if you want, you enjoy the video, you enjoy watching the tractor work, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Really love to see you on the channel in the comments. Okay, thanks. Hope everybody's having a great day.